Guys, we are building NMEA 2000 network in this open console board. Uh, the class of explanation for dummies, especially with this English. So, for people like me. Well, however, you probably will see, not probably, but you will, uh, different interesting details, some stuff for cable management and so on that you probably will never heard about before or will not see anywhere else. Why do you need a MIA 2000? Well, it's up to you to decide. In my case, I want an, an autopilot to this board and I am installing it here. So there is on the channel the full story about it. Uh, and there is precision compass and autopilot computer. They are communicating over an MIA 2000 network and that's the reason why I need it now. And because I have Lawrence unit there and on the back of the board, I will connect them to uh, terminology. I, I probably you have seen a lot of video about this. Let me tell differently. At least my English will be very different. So uh, let's start from the end, from uh, terminator resistors. Uh, note they are different. So one is male, another is female. So on the left you can see this one, and on the right you can see this one. Um, this is the end of the of your network. T connector is important part of the network. That is from where with the drop cable, they call it drop cable, you take um, network to your equipment. Yeah. So this is going here and then another end to your equipment. And in the same um, way you inject power to the network. So you have uh, this cable here and from another end to connect to the battery. It is important to inject power somewhere in the middle of the network or where uh, more consumers uh, use power. So the power should be balanced in the network. And when you need to extend network, in my case, from here to the back of the board, uh, you use a backbone cable, which is connected between uh, T connectors. So again, one end. I think it's wrong. So it's here, one end here, yeah, and another here. T connectors are always the same. Yeah, that's why we have different terminators. From one end, we need this one. From another one, we need another one, male and female. Yeah, they are different left, left or right. Uh, what would be a cost effective solution when you start building your EMEA? 2000. Well, in my case, I bought a starter kit. There are different starter kits. So I bought this one. I hope it was this one because I a little bit already uh, lost things. So it was that was the kit. Yeah. yeah, that was the kit because we explained we we discussed terminology. So that's the kit. The power cable is there. Backbone cable of specific length, I don't remember, is there. Three T connectors and two terminator resistors. So uh, why three? Because uh, uh, because because uh, it doesn't make sense to build network with just. So and um, these components you won't find in any equipment that you buy, for example, computer. But uh, this little stuff, uh, T-connector, it's usually included with every equipment you buy. So, from that perspective, uh, probably it's cheaper, I don't know, to buy just a power cable, uh, backbone cable of the length you need, and two different resistors. Because you pay for this stuff and you don't use it. You have it with this one, and moreover, I don't know if you can see it's there, I will use T-connector for four ports. I will get back to this later. So, consider what I am building, and first buy equipment, and then see what is included, and then decide what you need to buy. I think you overpay for these three T-connectors in case if you buy a starter kit. 
guys guys i lied to you well i don't want to remake uh, the video because even stronger my conclusion is even stronger if i explain you now so guys this is not the kit that i bought initially not the static kit i just found that this is the kit i bought first to build the network and you can see it has absolutely the same component that i uh, just previously shown you two uh, resistors backbone cable and uh, t connectors they are two only there so and this one i think it was with with that computer kit yeah and um, you have seen the same components yeah so it just make the stronger my statement that don't buy any starter kit before you bought all equipment you want to install because probably it is already everything there yeah this is for sale uh, well let me show you yeah so i have lawrence unit here this is an NMIA port. By the way, the weather cup is a very important part if you want to keep drop cable uh, to somewhere and uh, just lock it. Um, yeah, it's possible. You can do this way. So, and yeah, okay, let me show you. By the way, I think I didn't uh, show you this yet. Let's get back to this later. I think I have... Uh, another video where I s recorded about part number from Mauser about it. So, okay, so you can take from here and yeah, then you go to your equipment. That's it. And now, one interesting moment, you can use the drop cable as a backbone cable with string attached. I will explain you later. So, uh, you can <clears throat> you can use this here, they are inter interchangeable, and you can continue to another T connector, yeah, here, yeah, yeah, and that's it, you can do this, however, uh, yes, they are interchangeable, but uh, they have different uh, uh, length limitations, so this one cannot be more than six meters, is it 20 feet? I don't remember. So, and some manufacturer, they do the drop cable with small cable gauge and um, with smaller conductor. So, because uh, the, the backbone cable can be quite lengthy. And yeah, they do the, them different. But when you are about to extend uh, your network to a short distance like in my case i will explain this case now then it's fine you can use this yeah so because i had uh, 0.6 meters two cables that i don't need and i found out that four ports are not enough to me i will extend with this backbone cable that was included um so yeah this is also t connector um, not t e i don't know well it has four ports i was looking for five ports uh, i have seen some chinese no no china please in your board so <clears throat> i think you understood what i mean so and uh, this is something all i think i have a video that i will include either now or later about this part number so uh in my case i will put uh, precision compass uh, power autopilot controller and autopilot computer and that's it but i have a lawrence unit on the front so i want to connect it too that's why i will use this backbone cable uh, i will extend it yeah i put another t connector lawrence here and terminator resistor here and the backbone that will go on the uh, back of my board um, something like that yeah so i hope it was more or less clear. So this is T connector, actually for four ports, uh, for drop cables. I hope I used the right terminology. From Arfinal, this is the part number from Mauser, and uh, it looks very solid, very nice. Yeah, I really liked it. And uh, it's cheaper than if you buy from Lawrence, Garmin, uh, probably because of the place where you buy this, at least this was 
on the Mauser cheaper than any other options I have seen. And so guys, from this uh, driver console, I put a big uh, backbone cable under the floor in a loom in a corrugated pipe. You can see it comes to here. I will get back to this part later. So we come to here. So and uh, the cable the cable from from the floor goes from the pipe here and then it comes to this amphenol connector for four outputs. So I will take one for the AP44 if I remember right. Uh, autopilot controller, the short one, because uh, I will put this uh, mm, uh, connector T connector somewhere here and very short distance to the autopilot uh, autopilot controller here. Uh, then uh, power will be here. Uh, I wanted to have here close to the most uh, loads. Uh, then autopilot, autopilot itself here, and then precision compass for the autopilot which is here and the cable is somewhere there so then everything is occupied you can watch uh, a full playlist about autopilot precision sensor and so on on my channel so everything is occupied that's why i need to continue i will use a backbone in the same time it's a drop cable it doesn't matter a short one half meters quite difficult to find to buy maybe only lawrence uh, sell them because Amphenol has only 30 centimeters and then one meter and so and then I put a T connector and finish uh, this with the resistor on this end yeah I will get back to that end later uh, and this T connector I need because from here to here I need short distance and then I need to take a cable for my Lawrence Union that will be there so guys, it's happened that the best position for this hub is this way. So I, I take power to here. This is for the autopilot AP44, that square hole uh, uh, controller and uh, original 0.6 meters cable. Original 0.6 also is enough for the computer in that position. So, and this is going to the precision sensor, which is there. So it goes here, here, here with this nice uh, solution to keep cables and then there under the pipe. And also the backbone uh, here, making uh, this uh, road here, here, and then to the back of the board. Because I was thinking that the hub will be reversed, um, uh, then 0 0.6 meters is not enough. I bought a one meter cable from Amphenol. It's fine, I will use it in another place. So I bought just a couple of them, but different. So that one is the regular one with plastic covers. Uh, so yeah, and the part number on Mauser and the original part number will be without 523, I think. So that one. And Amphenol, they have nice solution that I didn't find anywhere else with L shape connector. This is part number. So, and that's for the unit that I will install there on the holder. So I want to have it there. So, uh, yeah, and from here I will take, I think, just 30. Uh, centimeters uh, uh, backbone cable from Amphenol also uh, and then T connector there so and here at the end I will uh, close the circuit so we provided uh, the cable here I will close the circuit with two T connectors so the cable will go here and the terminator resistor will be here so, and one connector will be for the Lawrence unit here, and another one for the future puddle sensor. I don't know yet if it will be required for the uh, correct operation of the autopilot. So, but I will pre install it. For that reason, I decided to buy a weather cup. It was quite difficult actually to find. First, I bought the wrong one, it's actually for the cable this one and then uh, I found on uh, Deutsch Amazon uh, uh, the right one that looks uh, this way yeah so yeah 
and the circuit will be uh, terminated by this resistor so that's all i will put it yeah there i think i don't show it to you so let's consider that this end is finished well i am done here yeah and actually there yeah too i already covered this previously and i told that i will have uh, uh, here um, 30 centimeters on phenol cable but actually they don't have 30 half meter is the minimum one and 0 0.6 meters for Lawrence is the minimum so it comes to here and you can see I inst pre-installed the second T connector and then we end with the terminator resistor uh, why I did this because I had a spare uh, weather cup so uh, and I ins uh, pre-installed in case if I will need uh, probably GPS antenna for autopilot to be connected in the future. It's uh, it's totally okay uh, to have uh, as many T connectors without any connections as you wish. Uh, if you just end the circuit with the terminator resistor. This cable it, it goes for the Lawrence unit, this Amphenol with that nice connector. I think you have seen already part number. Uh, the unit will be here. Yeah, through this interesting cable management solution. It's not yet finished. Uh, so, and the power, remember, so we took the power somewhere here. I don't remember where because I'm recording this after a few months. But you have seen it in the previous uh, frames. So the power is provided to here. Unfortunately, I don't know why uh, N2K or N um, NME2000 uh, uh, labels don't exist because it's quite normal and uh, to um, uh, put uh, the power to the switch and because uh, otherwise network will consume and drain your battery uh, so uh, uh, I don't know why the label doesn't exist so it's good to do uh, a switch for power yeah especially because this controller actually and that is the cable for that controller uh, autopilot controller AP44 if I remember right yeah it's controlled uh, it, it's connected only it takes power from the N2K network so only uh, and with this switch I will also disable this controller as well I promised to show you some interesting cable management, but actually it's all about just one interesting and the best solution. You, you can see cable ties uh, over there, there, and you also see it uh, there in other projects. Watch it. Yeah, and actually even here. Yeah, because that is, after all, the best uh, option. For everything really awesome it's that one yeah so the right part number if not Chinese so from the Phoenix and from Mouse this one and that is really awesome guys I apply it everywhere I know about all other options like that you, you see I didn't use them or oh, plastic with rubber without rubber I didn't use them because that's really awesome you put uh, uh, um, you can when you already doing something you can put cable ties then you can cut them in any time during installation and replace uh, f uh, if you have more cables or less cables in the future you can cut it anytime you can put the second one if you need so really awesome yeah uh, so guys, by the way, about this uh, panel and all tools here, I also have video on my channel, watch it. And I think here we are done, yeah, so uh, we will see how it works, how autopilot works, when the season will be opened. So subscribe to see this, otherwise, uh, no otherwise, so just subscribe and like. Thank you, bye.